driving home, had to work on a Saturday, not so fun, but absolutely necessary. Um, I thought I would just pull out my phone and have a little chat with you guys because, you know, because. Who says I can't? Who says that I have to have an incredibly, amazingly edited video and it has to have all these like, you know, jump cuts and music and all of that? Well, there is no committee. I am the committee. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, <laughs> but I kind of, one of the things that I wanted to talk about um, is my thoughts going into the Live a Great Story uh, ambassador retreat and my thoughts coming out of the retreat. And I am back home. It actually wasn't that bad working today. It was kind of um, kind of an easier day, so definitely not that bad. Which kind of brings me to the entire topic of this video, which is expectations versus reality. Because sometimes we have expectations about situations and the reality of that situation far exceeds those expectations. Or sometimes the reality is that the situation sucks and we had ex high expectations for it. Not to say we should never have expectations for anything, but in this instance and the instance that I want to talk about, the expectations far exceeded the reality. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so if you've watched my videos a couple of videos ago, you will know that I went um, to Austin for an ambassador retreat for Live a Great Story. And one, I kind of want to talk about Live a Great Story and who they are and what they do because honestly, like, number one, even before I went on the retreat, I don't feel like I truly, truly grasped like who they are and what they do and what they stand for and what it means to Live a Great Story. And you know, when I talk to people about it, they're like, man, I've never heard of that before, but I want to check it out. I want to know what it's about. Um, so Live a Great Story is about living your best story. Your story being your life. Like everybody has a story, but Live a Great Story encourages people to live their best story, live their best life and encourage others to do so along the way. Um, and so that's kind of like their whole, their whole thing is, you know, just live your best life, say yes more, take chances more, you know, just live more. It's kind of, kind of the whole, the whole thing. So before I went to the retreat, I don't really feel like I grasped that. I don't feel like I truly got an understanding of what it meant. And also too, I feel like I didn't really have a story to tell. I feel like I wasn't living that great of a story. Not saying that I wasn't living that great of a life, but I was comparing myself to the other people that I had met online. And you know, a lot of them are young, they're in their 20s, they travel all the time, they you know, they they go do this, they go do that. Some of them are entrepreneurs, and I felt like I wasn't on that same level. And that's okay. My story is way, way different than your story. Your story is gonna be different than someone else's story. And that's something that during that weekend, I, I realized. Um, while yes, it is amazing to be able just to get up and go and to travel, that is not where I am in my life. My life is totally different. Um, I have animals to think about. I have family to think about. I have a wife to think about. So, you know, it, it, it's, just a, it's just a different situation. Um, and I'm not complaining because I know some of my friends watch this, watch this. I'm not complaining about my life. What I'm saying is you can't compare where someone else is in their life to, you know, where you are in yours because you just can't. So going into it, I felt like, you know, I really didn't understand what Live a Great Story was. I didn't really think that I had a story to tell. Like, you know, someone said, hey, what's your story? I didn't necessarily think I had one, but I do. <laughs> Everybody has a story, everybody, and, and it's something that I guess, you know, I mean, you can pick out bits and pieces and be like, this is this, or this is that. And for me, I feel like my story kind of has like a, you know, I, I have like, it's almost like my story is in, is in like a series. Like you have like this one, and maybe it's just chapters, I don't really know. But you have like this one block of time in my life. 
and all of this stuff happens. But then you have like a def definitive like stopping point where like it's another point in life. And that definitive stopping point during the weekend was my story. And if you guys have not heard the story before, long story short, um, I was not living a very healthy life. I was severely overweight. I was smoking like a pack a day. Um, I just was not living a very good life health wise. And I, because of that, I ended up in the hospital with pneumonia. I stayed there for three days. They were testing to see if I was septic. I was so sick. Um, my oxygen level is like an 85. If you guys know anything about oxygen, that's terrible. Um, I was in very bad shape. And the moment they, they said that they were testing me to see if I was septic, that was the defining moment in my life. That was the moment that I realized that I needed to live my life and not continue just to float on by like I was. Um, and you know, I kind of made a promise to myself, like, and the universe, like if I survive this, if I live through this, then I will make changes. And I did, and I lost a good amount of weight and life got better. I started saying yes more, I started living more, um, and things were awesome. So I feel like that was kind of like my story. And then, you know, I kind of feel like honestly, like the ambassador retreat was another, I don't want to say like a definitive like stop, but I do feel like it was like a hard, long pause. Um, because during that weekend, I really feel like, and it kind of was what sparked me like changing all of my, my handles is because I feel like I have so much more of myself to tell and my, and my story to tell that I want to start telling it. If that makes sense. Um, you know, hence my YouTube channel is, is different than it was. You know, it, a lot of it's going to be just me talking or it's going to be me like living my life. It's, it's not going to be necessarily like great edits or all this cool rad content. It's not necessarily going to be that. It's going to be real and raw in my life and what's going on and the things I like and the things I don't like and the troubles I have and you know, all of that. So, you know, that's one thing. Um, also to, I want to start like, I don't know. I felt one of the things that I realized during the, the retreat was that there are things that I keep saying like, Oh, I'll do this tomorrow. Oh, I'll do this tomorrow. And I've put off a few things. Um, one being this major project that even like my friends are like, I had no idea. Um, I wrote and illustrated a children's book and it's been Honestly, since I was in high school, one of my things on my bucket list, on my life list, is to be a published author. I, it's something that I told myself a long time ago that I wanted to do. I don't really know why. It, it's just one of those things that you're like, I want to do this in life. Um, so I have started to make the steps to have this book published. Um, it's in the editing phase. It is completely done and finished and laid out. It is currently in editing phase. And phase and I will be self-publishing this book within a matter of weeks. So, um, so yeah, so that's awesome. Um, there's just so much, I think I want to, so much more, I feel like I want to share with people and so much more of my story that I do feel like I have to tell. So that's one of the things that, um, kind of came out of the weekend as well. So, um, yeah, I don't really know where I was fully going with that. I feel like I have verbal diarrhea right now. Like I want to just like say a bunch of stuff, but, and I can because there is no committee. Like I said, I'll talk about that a lot later, a little bit later, but, um, in another video, but, uh, yeah. So another, so yeah, I have a book coming out. Um, I'll let you guys know like when I publish that. Um, it is a children's book, so it's not like, you know, anything crazy long or anything mind blowing. Um, and then I'm also working to start a podcast. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but the idea behind the podcast was totally different than the current idea. Um, the idea that I had before was kind of like a, a niche market 
and um, I still may do it because I do feel like there isn't anything there isn't anything related to this particular area in my area at this point um, but I want to do a podcast that kind of talks about life and talks of you know hopefully is a little bit inspiring and maybe a little funny I don't really know sometimes I'm not that funny but hopefully I'll have people in there that are um, but yeah so hopefully in the next like month or so I will get that started and see how that goes but that's I don't know there's really no point in this video other than to kind of talk about like sometimes we have we set expectations or we talk ourselves out of things and and talk ourselves out of situations and when we get in that situation or we experience said thing we it it's better than we could have expected or hoped and better than we thought and I feel like I'm not saying to not have any expectations at all but I'm just saying like sometimes when you go into a situation blindly to like be okay with not necessarily knowing or expecting it to be crap I guess I guess that's the thing is is you know I, I wasn't expecting the weekend to be crap but I didn't necessarily expect to come out of it so inspired and so just like ready to ready to go ready to do so yeah okay I think I've talked long enough again this is just me talking because I feel like I haven't like talked a whole lot lately and feel like I haven't like really done much lately with the channel so yeah my videos are gonna be random they're gonna be sporadic I'm not gonna promise you three videos a week I'm not gonna promise you super amazing edits or music or jump cuts or any of that um, I'm not gonna promise you fitness or cooking or anything other than me and my life and what's going on and it'll probably be very very random because that seems to be what happens in my life so thank you guys so much for watching thanks for listening if you've made it to this point in the video I appreciate it because I just again verbal diarrhea so I will see you guys in the next one